All right, it's time to work the still air box. First off, I want to give a warning to everybody watching this video, okay? Magic Michael, I'm coming for you. And I got Blucifer to back me up. And Willie Michael, or whatever the hell your name is, I don't need a damn mask. I don't care who the hell sees me. So guess what? This is your warning right here. Blucifer is coming, and it will win the next Suicide Cup. So you better be ready. Get ready, because it's coming. You got me, brother? You got me? All right. Stay safe. God bless. Hello, friends. So today, we're talking about the still air box. Now, mine is made out of just a... Uh, I don't know, 20 gallon aquarium or something. And then I cut a piece of plastic that fits pleasantly in there. And just a couple hand holes made out of tape. And stick my hands in there. And of course, inside here it's all been disinfected. And, you know, we have the lab only 70%. Uh, uh, this isn't isopropanol. This is actually a. Uh, uh, ethyl alcohol but same thing okay so it's all been cleaned out we we're gonna do a tissue sample today with the still air box and show you how it's done now over here we have some uh, pancakes some mushies and what I want to do is I want to take probably a uh, let's look under here Oh, look at that baby, huh? It's huge. You want to take a tissue sample from this big guy here, which is the size of my palm, and, uh, you know, make an isolated culture. I got five glass petri dishes inside the still air box. And uh, we're going to take the stem, we'll minus the cap, and we'll disinfect everything, throw the cap over in the drying unit over here. And uh, the rest is going to go in the Stellar box. And we're going to give her a shot, okay? Now, you never know what's going to happen with the Stellar box. It's not as good as a lamb hood. However, I've had pretty good success with it because I'm just on a small scale anyway. So let's give it a shot. Hello, Michael Knotts. Here we go again. Here, Here's the Stellar box. It, I'm going to try to get a good view of this, but I probably won't be able to. Anyway, here's our sample. This is called Blucifer. As you can see, it's blue and huge. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this cap off and we're going to put it in the drying area. So hold on. Give me one second here because a lot of this is off camera for you know, very good reasons. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Bam it goes into the dryer right now what we got is we got the blue stem very blue and well actually it's more purple than it is blue we're going to squirt it down with a little bit of uh, of uh, ethanol here okay and we're going to stick it inside our still air box right there on the bottom splashing around in all its beauty maybe spray it with a little more while it's sitting in there okay Right, that should pretty much kill anything. Oh, look, I got purple all over my hands. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a sample and we're going to put one piece of the inside of that stem in every one of these five glass Petri dishes. Okay, so the very first step is, as you know, disinfect, disinfect, lots of alcohol, lots of alcohol on everything. Right, then we're going to reach over here, we're going to grab this here stem, okay? Now this right here, this little bottle, has a blade in it that's been soaking in pure ethanol. Now, I don't have a problem showing you this because I'm going to be using it right away anyway, but this little rusty blade here, we're going to use that to take samples out of the center of the stem. So what we want to do is we just want to grab that out of there, okay? 
we set it right on the ground. We're going to pour some ethanol on it, okay, which is fine. Now, one by one, what we're going to do is we're going to take the stem and we're going to split it right in half, just like this. Look at that, okay? In the middle is sterile content. So what we want to do is we want to shave a little piece off like this, just like that, okay? Drop it in the dish. Okay, next one. Very gentle, very gentle. Take a little piece of sterile flesh. Drop it in the dish. The faster and more rhythmic you can be at this, let's take the other side, the better it is. So here, here we go. Here's a little piece of sterile flesh from the center, right? Bam. Drop it in the ditch. Come on, Dan. Okay. Oh, that worked great. We got two more to go and I just snotted all over everything. So hold on. Everything's got to be sprayed down again now, as you know. Okay. Next, we got two more. Wipe your hands down. Well, let's go down into the blue part of this here stem, or, st or stamen, or whatever the fuck you want to stipe. Okay, here's a good shot. Bam. Right in there, and then one more. We'll take it out of this side. Okay. We'll go up a little bit higher, right into this brush right here. Okay, there we go. There is all five glass petri dishes. They all have a flesh sample in them. I will stack them on top of each other like this. Two, three, four. Okay. And then these will be taped. This goes into the drying chamber for drying. Okay, cool. Alright, so that's how you use a still air box. It's pretty much about rhythm and your consistency. Okay? If you use sterile practices and consistency and quick motions, you don't need a lamb hood. I mean, I have one, but look, I chose to take my, my very own creation, Lucifer's, and do them in a still air box. Why? Because it works. Okay? It works. I don't care what anybody says. It works. All right? If you ain't got the money, get you a cheap aquarium, put a piece of plastic on it, drill a couple holes, tape it up, you got a still air box. Okay? Works every time. Well, not every time, but I'm just saying. Cool? Cool.